Hello everyone. Again, this is Dr. Anand, your child specialist. So now, very importantly, one thing I want to tell in your whole pediatric programs, a whole residency program, your thesis, your ups and downs and toxicness and seniors, and you know, you're good with your seniors or not good with your seniors. Make sure the only thing I can say is that be hopeful and just whole enjoy the process and basically be hopeful every day is not the same every day is not the same a lot of juniors they message me in first year residency so this residency program is so toxic sir so i'm not getting time to study and just because you guys are not getting time to study that's why these videos are there so that at least you are one step near you know to the important guidelines to the important approaches which are important for the exam purpose theoretically as well as clinically also so that's it. Just watch the videos, chill out, relax, and please take care. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. Today's topic of choice we're going to talk about is Neonatology, chapter number four. In this chapter, the topics which, what we're going to talk about is APGAR score, one of your most favorite, most frequently asked topic, <laughs> even though it is asked or not asked whole era of your decades of your life you're gonna deliver a newborn baby and abgar score is something you have to know it like by heart okay abgar score what is clean chan what is delayed cord clamping benefits and side effects and verdicts case use picture video and video something like that so let's start off so before starting any segment we always have a quote and what is the thought for today the thought for today is this beautiful picture which says success is not always what you see success is not always what you see so very importantly this fellow <laughs> this is so nice so this fellow has this one but see the how much he has studied properly he will be might be able to deliver a little bit of you know verbal knowledge but the base the base of this his education is extremely strong whereas this fellow has very less base of education but he's blabbering whatever he wants to this is life okay don't judge the book from its outer cover don't judge the book just by the front page you need to read the whole book you know so that's the whole story okay so success is not always what you see you know so so be yourself tell yourself you are a powerful soul tell yourself you are the best soul tell yourself you have got everything everywhere whatever you name it you have it in you okay no 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 but i don't think so i have it don't give that if button all that okay say i have it i am working on it i will do it like this should be the you know the motto of life forever upgard score very simple very sweet upgard score has uh, three leading questions okay so upgard score has three leading question what is upgard score which method it is and when it is performed these three basic question you should know so what is upgard score upgard score is a scoring system for the clinical assessment of the baby upgard score is a scoring system for the clinical assessment of the newborn in one of my Bangalore class, I asked a student, what is, Abga what is Abgar score? He said, Abgar score is used for the gestational assessment of the newborn. Do you use Abgar score for the gestational assessment of the newborn? I don't think so. For the gestational assessment of the newborn, we have something known as Ballard score. So don't confuse Ballard score with Abgar score. And the proper full name of the Ballard score is Expanded New Ballard score expanded new ballard score okay i'll repeat again for the gestational assessment of the baby the baby is preterm term or post term we have a scoring system known as ballard score and for the clinical assessment of the baby how is the baby doing well or not and all that for that we have the upper guard score number one number two which method it is it is a objective method it is a objective method as in 0 1 2 1 2 3 like that objective method is there and when it is performed it is performed at first minute fifth minute and tenth minute first minute fifth minute and tenth minute it is performed okay and what is the normal upguard score if i ask you a question the normal upguard score okay just here only we can finish it off the normal upguard score is more than 7 by 10 normal upguard score is more than 7 by 10 okay if i say what is the maximum upguard score the maximum upguard score is 10 by 10 but the normal upguard score is more than 7 by 10 so what about 4 to 7 and 0 to 3 if the baby has a upguard score 4 to 7 that is known as moderate birth asphyxia that is known as 
moderate birth asphyxia and if the baby has a apgar score 0 to 3 that is known as severe birth asphyxia that is known as severe birth asphyxia so these are very beautiful questions pointers must appreciate for the exam purpose moderate birth asphyxia and severe birth asphyxia okay number one now what are the components of the apgar score so quick revision what is apgar score it is an objective method for evaluating a newborn's condition number two it is performed at first minute fifth minute and tenth minute and third important point yeah this is also extra point they have given in aims protocol if the fifth minute of guard score if the fifth minute of guard score is less than seven by ten normally should be more than seven right if the fifth minute of guard score is less than seven then you will do up guard score every five minutes every five minutes you will do again till 20 minutes you will do means you did at first minute and you did at fifth minute but fifth minute up guard score was less than 7 by 10 you will do a 10th minute 15th minute and 20th minute every 5 5 5 5 minutes you will do till 20 minutes of life that you should know so this is nice point if fifth minute up guard score is less than 7 then you do up guard every 5 minute till 20 minutes of life or if you have two successful scores which are 7 or more so that's it's a beautiful point okay now huh, this is nice now apgar score it, we have the component that is apgar exam entrance question number one what is the full form of apgar score or acronym of apgar score so it is appearance pulse grimace appearance pulse grimace activity and respiration appearance pulse grimace activity and respiration very beautiful point to the point so what is the full form of apgar score the full form of apgar score is appearance pulse grimace activity and respiration appearance pulse grimace activity and respiration exam entrance question number one is respiratory rate a part of the apgar score the answer is no respiratory rate is not a part of the apgar score it is the respiration or respiratory efforts respiration or respiratory efforts you should know they are the parts of the apgar score the components are 0 1 and 2 0 being a very bad baby and 2 being a very good baby so 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 every component is given 2 score that's why the maximum apgar score will be 10 by 10 10 by 10 and the normal apgar score will be more than 7 by 10 not 7 more than 7 someone having a 7 of guard score you will portray it as a moderate birth asphyxia okay and respiratory rate is not the part of the apgar score it is a respiratory efforts if they are absent of course i'm going to give a zero score if they are irregular i'm going to give a one score and if they are regular you're going to give a two score the absent irregular regular same goes with the appearance if the child is totally blue dead baby mortality sinus baby zero of guard score if the peripheries are blue which is known as acrosinosis very important point acrosinosis it's an exam question acrosinosis is given how much score in the apgar score so acrosinosis is given one score in the apgar score and if the baby is completely pink no problem very good it's a happy baby pulse no heart rate less than 100 heart rate and more than 100 heart rate no heart rate zero less than 100 one score more than 100 two score that also over so appearance pulse grimace what are you checking in the grimace in the grimace i'm checking the reflex of the baby if i put a nasogastric tube what reflex the baby will show that is known as grimace so if it is absent the baby is not showing any reflex zero if the baby is showing something known as grimace grimace means some flexion or some uh, you can say little reflex or some reflex if the baby is showing that is you are gonna give one apgar score and proper reflex like a coughing or sneezing like a coughing or sneezing that you the, you're gonna give two apgar score so very simple very nice i'll repeat again what is the full form of apgar score appearance pulse grimace activity and respiration respiratory rate is not a part of the apgar score apgar score is an objective method to evaluate a newborn's condition so appearance totally blue zero peripheries blue one pink baby two peripheries blue means acrosinosis means one number that's a star mark mcq pulse means heart rate zero less than 100 more than 100 then appearance pulse grimace what are you checking in grimace reflex of the baby you're putting a nasogastric tube archie reflex so coughing or sneezing of the baby is doing two up guard score 
लिटिल फ्लैक्शन दैट लिटिल फ्लैक्शन इट सेल्फ इज नोन एज ग्रिमेज दैट मीन्स वन अप गार्ड स्कोर एंड नो रिफ्लेक्स मीन्स जीरो अप गार्ड स्कोर ओके डन नेक्स्ट अपियरेंस पल्स ग्रिमेस एक्टिविटी एंड रेस्पिरेशन रेस्पिरेशन ऑल्सो वी हैव डन नो रेस्पिरेशन इ रेगुलर रेस्पिरेशन लाइक अ वीक क्राई एंड रेगुलर रेस्पिरेशन लाइक अ गुड स्ट्रॉन्ग क्राई लास्ट बट नॉट द लीज एक्टिविटी वॉट आर यू चेकिंग द एक्टिविटी दिस एन एम सी क्यू वॉट आर यू चेकिंग इन द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द बेबी यू आर चेकिंग द टोन ऑफ द बेबी वे 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 लाइक दिस द बेबी क्राई गुड टोन दिस गुड टोन सो इफ द बेबी totally limp obviously zero up guard score little some flexion not like this but some flexion is there one up guard score and when when good active movements are there that is two up guard score so that's it that finishes up guard score so it is appearance pulse grimace activity and respiration top five mcqs acrocinosis is given which number one number grimace word is given which number one number is respiratory rate of the is a part of apgar score no that's it perfect and i told you zero so we have this what you called uh, normal apgar score is more than 7 4 to 7 is moderate birth asphyxia and 0 to 3 is severe birth asphyxia next important point apgar score is normal in most patients whom cerebral palsy subsequently develops sometimes we always feel that uh, a baby who has not cried immediately after birth who is a case of hie later he can land up into cerebral palsy okay it can happen but that's not like 10 out of 10 there could be other reasons also where the baby's apgar was perfectly fine later he got a you know neurodegenerative disorder white matter disorder gray matter disorder other neurological problem where just because of that the baby can land up into cp so apgar score normal it can be normal in most of the patient where whom sub cerebral palsy subsequently develops okay one more question for the ss normal apgar score with acidosis the baby is crying well everything is fine you got a vbg or abg done arterial blood gas analysis you saw metabolic acidosis so remember in a case of high fetal catecholamines or maternal acidosis can have neonatal acidosis maternal acidosis can have a neonatal acidosis and high fetal catecholamines also are two conditions this examiner has asked us that normal apgar score with metabolic acidosis so high fetal catecholamines and maternal acidosis flash card of the day we have a newborn baby with no respiratory efforts no respiratory efforts how much number do you want to give no respiratory efforts zero number some respiratory efforts one number good respiratory efforts two number no response to any stimuli no response to any stimuli okay fine obviously zero number heart rate 80 so heart rate nil was zero up guard score less than 100 one up guard score and more than 100 two up guard score so i am going to give one up guard score and peripheries are blue means one up guard score the best answer for this question is nothing but two you going to give two next question if apgar score is 6 at 5 minutes of life if apgar score is 6 at 5 minutes of life then what is your interpretation dnb question so apgar score is 6 at 5 minutes of life that means what the answer is moderate birth asphyxia or yeah that only moderate birth asphyxia perfect next question what is the acronym for apgar score aims paper so what do you think for whatever whatever question i ask you quickly pause it and then suddenly put an answer in 3 seconds and play it again So the answer for this question is yes, yes. It is nothing but appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respiration. Okay. Next question: What is the interpretation of Apgar score three? Very simple. Zero to four is nothing but severe birth asphyxia. Then next question: Apgar score includes all of the following except. So A for appearance. In appearance, you are seeing the color of the baby. Appearance, pulse. Pulse is the heart rate. Appearance, pulse, grimace. Activity, activity. You are checking the muscle tone and respiration. So respiratory rate basically is not a part of the Apgar score. Okay, Apgar score finished. Beautiful topic. Your mind is like a magnet. Beautiful quote. Your mind is like a magnet. Okay. If you are tried, if you think positive. positive things will happen if you think negative negative things will happen no 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 i am very positive they made me angry no 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 i am very chilled out they poke me in the gym so i get very offended i don't say anything to anyone but they commented on me that's why i got very angry so they commented he commented she commented they commented the the thread of your life is in your hands please don't give the thread of your life to some other people hands 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सर हाउ कैन आई अवॉइड दैट नॉर्मली आई नो इट्स ईजियर सेट देन डन बट हाउ कैन आई अवॉइड दिस यू नो कहना बहुत आसान है इट्स वेरी ईजी टू से दैट डोंट गिव द मैगनेट बट दे कमेंट आई फील ऑफेंडेड हाउ कैन आई अवॉइड दैट मेडिटेशन मेडिटेट नथिंग बट जस्ट वेरी एनी टाइम ऑफ द डे जस्ट रिलैक्स सिट क्लोज योर आईज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इंस्पायर होल्ड फॉर वन टू थ्री एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सपायर अगेन होल्ड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इंस्पायर वन टू थ्री होल्ड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सपायर लाइक 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 यू काउंट एंड स्लोली वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इनहेल वन टू थ्री होल्ड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेल इनहेल बाय नोज एक्सेल बाय माउथ and uh, when you do this only for 5 minutes put a timer for 5 minutes put your play, mobile on the right now only after finishing this class put your phone on the airplane mode and just put a 5 minutes of timer only 5 minutes only 5 minutes and inhale from the nose exhale from the mouth just do like that i hope you have liked the video and most importantly please uh, i would recommend everyone enjoy the process enjoy everything trust and uh, very importantly read the basic books i hope like as you all know starting with op ghai to piyush gupta textbook of pediatrics to nelson if any time you want like which books are important in the residency program you can message me any time you can ask me you guys have my number so most importantly make sure you have the standard books with you if you get time please watch them very properly please read them very properly and for all the videos i'm there so that's it please take care and thank you